Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be showing you today how to change the interior little train pieces. And what I'm gonna be using today is the factory original BMW Black Cosmos. That's what it's called. Basically, essentially blacking out the whole interior because this essentially used to be wood. And the center console shows what kind of wood it was. Then the next owner who did it used some kind of a pornographic attempt to use a wrap and as you can see it not only it's horrible but also it's really horrible but uh, everybody has their taste nobody's not blaming anyone but um, I'm gonna show you right now that the replacement this is came off in the other BMW X5 the replacement comes in nine pieces four doors center console center console center console little piece and also the center console piece right here with the slider and also the center console cup holder slider I'm gonna show you that this is the most difficult and pain in the butt piece as you've seen in my interior the center console is completely out so here you go that's the reverse side of the trim and here we have nine or sorry here we have six six pieces right here if I can get it focused so this is a bolt number one bolt number two and three here we have four and on this side we have five and six nothing really to show here but right here we have a little trick that every time you open these this compartment it either stays in place or goes out but right here we have a pin right here and if you slide it then it's not gonna hold so basically what I want to do is hold it back pull it back so right now it locks in place and it opens on my response we're gonna be using only one tool which looks like this scary dentist tool let me see let me have it on let me have it focused right here and basically it's just a pick and what you want to do is on each one of those pieces you hook it up from this side slowly and gently and you try to pull out the first the first grab, the first pin because um, all of them have four metal pins and you just pull it out gently slowly it comes out and then you have this piece right here and you can really see how the old BMWs were really quality made because this, these pins are aluminum right here and this is an aluminum strip which is on the other side is covered not by this horrible wrap but by it cover it's covered with the wood I took out the half of the part and here is the wood but with age what happens is it starts to crack since it's a uh, hundred percent wood spawn and it's just it's not pleasant anymore to look at it and also I just want to have a black interior completely blacked out another problematic issue with the, most of the cases is that right in this spot right here right in this spot right here all of them crack all the time right here and right here it's just uh, inevitable so therefore yeah that's the problem with the wood trim but right now let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you on the other side how it looks like one this is two this is the third one number four is right here after this wire and number five and six bolt is right here as you can see the slider for the cup holder is on the way but when you when you take it out when you close the cup holder 
that's when this, those bolts that holding the center console will show up. We're gonna be using Torx, Torx 20. Look at the black Cosmos center console in original, in its original color. It's a little bit. You can see a lot of fingerprints, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna clean that. This is how the old console looks, and the only thing that you're grabbing from here is the cup holder, unless you didn't have your socket for, unless you didn't have your cigarette lighter socket. But it also comes on uh, six. 20 torques right here <coughs> and meanwhile taking out the cup holder since it's um, potentially a really dirty part since you have all your drinks in it I took apart the cup holder so it comes into three pieces and meanwhile you don't have any bolts attached to it you can throw it into a dishwasher so it gets rid of all the grease and dirt but I just wiped it with um, with a alcohol and it pretty much degreased it right away uh, this uh, piece for the ashtray comes with the same bolts so if your bolts are rusty like this you might want to use these bolts as a your backup bolts if you have this piece intact but for now I'm coming for now I'm proceeding to the black center console assembly Okay, so finally we got it in. Nothing special, nothing too special. Looks pretty black, black Cosmos. There is a couple of scratches, it, it, it came like this. And that means that later down the road I'll be making myself go through this again. And um, But hopefully I'll be having a brand new or close to brand new condition center panel. And uh, either that or I'm just gonna touch it up with some black black uh, Cosmos uh, touch-up paint for now. This is what it looks like when there is no trim. I cleaned everything up. Everything is nice to, and ready to go. Already inserted one of the pieces that goes in between the radio and the, and the steering rack. But um, there is one l really quick tip for you. And um, in order to make your life a little bit less pain in the butt when it comes to installation of this uh, screw when you have to use an extension, what you do is you get a shop cloth, you rip out a little piece and put it in between the screw and your screwdriver or your wrench, whatever, and you make sure you push it in really 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 well that creates a gasket that creates a holding for the screw it's either that or you put a little niodinium magnet so it magnetizes the screw and you don't have to hold the screw and the ratchet together and you just uh, it will make it much easier for you to work and insert a long extension screw now 
what I'm gonna do is show you how easy it is to put this in there is nothing special but you must make sure that all these aluminum pins that go inside are intact that's what they look like and there's nothing there is no uh, positive or negative Phillips screw or any thread it's just a pin and what you do is you make sure that each one of them has the pin so nothing is rattling let's say this this goes to the uh, panel and what you do is you insert it into here push it in and here it is a much better view already here we go goes to here goes to here the little last piece Finally it's done, um, it's just, uh, it took an abnormal amount of time to get it all sorted out. The main issue was that obviously the console that didn't give me much rest. The thing is there is one wire and this wire is called a phone ready wire which means that it's it goes to the cars that usually have the phones in it in the uh, in the shoulder rest right here but uh, the car didn't come with it now what's interesting about this wire is that it's always under it's located uh, right here and it's always under voltage meaning that it's always powered and the antennas go and shoot into the back what you do when you find this wire you you try to disconnect it and disconnect all the wiring that goes to the back because uh, in a really not a good scenario the wire is gonna start steaming and you're gonna get not steaming it's gonna start smoking and you're gonna get a lot of smoke coming from your shoulder rest so that not shoulder your arm rest or whatever mind my language cuz I'm I haven't slept all night and I've been doing all this stuff all night long now what you want to do is you want to disconnect it unless you want to connect the phone to it. Why well, I didn't do that yet, but I might either find a phone and connect it because I want to make this car a full BMW X5 to, to, to have an every single option that the car ever came with. And uh, so far I've only maybe done 20% of it. And uh, what I want to do is uh, add all the ambient lights, add... Um, better cluster add a better shifter add heatings on all the seats and uh, etc 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 regardless um, in terms of the wire what you want to do is disconnect it and if you don't if you want to avoid all the miserable tasks that i just did you probably want to go to the junkyard and uh, find yourself a black cluster bla black uh, black trim for the center console and just rip out the whole well gently take out the entire the entire everything you might overpay unless you're gonna take out uh, all the uh, electronics but uh, I would suggest definitely taking out the whole armrest and uh, just uh, ripping your one out well gently obviously with disconnecting all the wires and everything 
and just put in the black trim entire armrest in your car and you were gonna avoid spending abnormal amount of time disassembling absolutely everything now you don't have to take out the floors you don't have to take out the uh, carpets but I did because in my case I had an uh, I don't know what you want to call this guy but up in there on that pillar uh, when the, the previous owner was installing this aftermarket Android the rear view camera has been going all the way through the ceiling and uh, one of the drainage pipes that uh, makes sure that all the liquid from the panoramic sunroof goes down under the car well uh, there is a rubber pipe and it runs down all the way since someone's um, talented hands has been uh, using this pillar as an extension for the rear view camera what happened is that the pipes got unplugged and all the entire water for probably a year has been going down into my floor but good thing is the car hasn't been driven for a lot before I've purchased it and what I've been doing what it has been all essentially starting from is for me to remove the floors inspect the floor inspect the ceiling which I'm gonna be doing in another video and I'll probably indicate it right here and uh, basically I did all the whole inspection I plugged the pipe back in I did inspect the drainage and I did a really short video on that too on how to inspect it if, if you if you purchase the next five or if you want to purchase that's something that you want to check and before buying but regardless it all started because of that person who did this rear view camera wire that messed up the entire pretty much car and uh, you know it's a domino effect you start there and you end up right here regardless if you guys uh, found some uh, useful information in this video give it a like and uh, leave a comment if you want to uh, me to explain you anything else that comes with this car but regardless uh, you guys enjoy it i'm gonna wrap up and go and you guys have a good one ciao